All right, so we're headed on an epic coast-to-coast -coast journey. We're leaving Mount Lassen and headed for Pennsylvania. It's going to be a lot of driving. So we're seeing all these cow crossing signs in like the woods for how many miles? Like 30, 30 miles. 30 miles. And we have yet to actually see a cow. Leaving Mount Lassen is kind of sad actually because we really love the area. It's so nice. The forest is like the tall pines. The KOA we stayed at at uh, Shingletown was amazing. So we were passing by the salt flats, or at least we think. Like, we're pretty sure they're salt flats. Yeah, it's flat and it looks salty, so. Diane and McKenna passed us for some reason. We are making a quick grocery. Um, Stop at Walmart. So we tried to make it really quick because you don't want to get too far behind them. So now we gotta go catch up to them. Going in a tunnel! Salt Lake City, 90 miles. Originally I was excited to see the salt flats, but now I'm just bored. Night one. So this is our campground for night one. It's just at a rest stop in Utah. You can't camp and like put your slides out or anything, but you can just overnight park. So that's what we're doing and then we're gonna get up early tomorrow and go another even longer than today. Today we went like six, over 600 miles. Tomorrow we're going close to 700 miles. So this is not a sign you want to see in the rest area or anywhere for that matter. Okay, so quick question for anyone out there who's like from Utah or Arizona, these places we have scorpions. Where do you find scorpions? Because so the sign said, watch for scorpions and snakes. So I know snakes are on the ground. Do scorpions, do, are they like under rocks or do they just hang out in like the grass here? Because that would be pretty scary if I might just run into one in the grass. Day two. Just crossed into Wyoming. Woo, check off a new state for us. I don't know how many that makes. Something like 30? Yeah, probably around 30. We have a question for everybody. We saw a billboard and it had a stack of flapjacks. Pancakes. And Alex and Jared are like, oh, it's pancakes. And I'm like, no, they're like, it's the same thing. No, it's not the same thing. But they said pancake. Who thinks pancake is the same as flapjack? And who thinks they're different? Cold right um, there. Yeah. Oh, we're going faster than the train. So we just raced the train. One. So it's like five o'clock. Wait, did I switch my watch? Five o'clock mountain time. Five o'clock mountain and time. We're gonna go to school. End up in Central. We've been time. driving since eight o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock. Eight o'clock mountain this time. This mountain place. time this morning. We have my laptop to um, research stuff relating to Able Family. Mommy's phone to do stuff productively, except right now it's watching a DCTV video. <laughs> we did have a fun fact. Right. Is it about the fences? Oh, well, okay, two no. fun facts. Two fun facts. So we saw the band of fences along the road, and except they weren't actually full fences, they were just like partial fences stuck out in different directions, basically different yeah, directions. Right, we, we, also, we also saw lots of trees. But anyway, there are all these partial fences, so we Googled Google. it. Thank you, Google. And apparently they stopped the snow from drifting onto the highway. Second fun fact. What's the second fun fact? Start over. Second fun fact is that Wyoming is the least populated American state. We're so excited. The landscape is turning green. We were just watching. Oh, I'll find the pepper. She has her head on. Hi, baby. This pepper, she comes with us, but normally you can't see her because she hides under those seats. She likes little cubby holes. So we were just like watching the landscape, like, ooh, that landscape's a brownish green color instead of just a brown color. Also, Wyoming has a lot of just signs that just like road closed when flashing, and then here's the detour that you need to take yeah, when yeah. this is closed and when this is closed. So do they just like regularly close a lot of roads in Wyoming? I mean, maybe snow? Oh, well, we're almost in Nebraska. Okay. Nebraska. <laughs>
good girl. You're perfect. Why are you up here again? I think they're trying to make a new bypass. So we're trying to get to the state park, um, but there's construction, so roads were closed. Well, roads were demolished, <laughs> wiped out. Google Maps was trying to take us across that road because she didn't know that it was gone. Hi, so did you get on the 30 East? So it's like exactly 12 hours. You know, and we have three more days driving to get back to Pennsylvania. Woo! Let's go check out the campsite. Except it's dark, so we can kind of only see our site. And then we have to go to bed because we're getting up all again tomorrow. Here's our grass that we're gonna sleep next to. Here's a picnic table that we're not gonna use because we're gonna be sleeping. Here's the RV that we're gonna sleep in. So that was the tour of Buffalo Bill State Park in North Platte, Nebraska. Or at least what we saw of it in the 10 hours that we're gonna be here. Eight of them are gonna be sleeping. Day three. More driving. I'm kind of getting a little bit tired driving, but I'm still having fun. What? Get out of the road. My life's love is making music with my friends. I can't wait to get on the road Whoa. again. Woo! Let's go. We gotta get the car. We need to get on the road again. We're leaving Buffalo Bill Ranch Recreation Area. How cool is that? Buffalo Bill. Yeehaw! So it was only about 500 miles today. Yesterday and the first day were extra long, so then today, like 500 miles, tomorrow, and the last day, only gonna be about 500 miles. We're all kind of getting bonded out on traveling. <laughs>